Welcome back everybody, Gacha Gaming here, back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about, uh, obviously as the thumbnail suggests, which is basically the 2.2 patch, or in my case specifically Robin. But obviously disclaimer before we start, uh, my thoughts are my thoughts, your thoughts are your thoughts. If you feel that you want to summon for a character, summon for the character. If you don't want to summon for the character, you're more than welcome to save. But with that said, let's dive into the video. So, um, now that we look about, well, now when we think about it, I want people, obviously leaks have come out, uh, we're, we're able to see what Robin does, we're able to see what uh, Boot, Boot Hill does, but obviously today's video is going to be specifically on Robin. Now, apart from the fact that everybody just wants to know what the law is behind what's happening in Pentaconi, I want you to be honest with me whether you feel the same way for Robin as you did for Acheron. I mean, w was the hype for Robin as as deep as it was for Acheron? Because I'm not feeling it for Robin, to be honest. Even through uh, the, the, the use or the leaks that have come out in terms of her kit, I'm, I'm not seeing anything that is really different from... And I'm, I'm sorry to say to, for some of you that might disagree, but... Uh, I, I would honestly compare her to to Ruin May, to be honest, because right now she's the one thing I've seen. The one thing that I've seen is that I'm a bit confused about her kit. Well, it's not it's not anything confusing. It's just the fact that you know her her ultimate does her her an an all like um, her ultimate basically pushes people advance forwards every every single person in the team right and realistically is that really going to i mean you have bronya you have sparkle <laughs> like what, what, what's the re what's the real need for robin if you understand what i'm saying so that's where i am in terms of robin like is is her kit going to be better than than say a ruin may because in my in my case i'll be very honest with you I would even rather just summon for a rerun of Ruin May because Ruin May brings, I feel, just more, I'd say, buffs in general. I mean, Ruin May does the whole weakness type break, uh, efficiency, efficiency uh, weak, then obviously all type of resistance penetration, which in which I think any single person who has Ruin May on their account has seen the utility of Ruin May on their account. So my 2.2, I'll be honest with you, for anyone who might actually uh, see my see this video, I think 2.2 is just going to be a filler patch, to be honest. Unless the rerun character is now maybe like a Ruin Mei or a Fushuan, I feel like 2.2 is going to be a very, very filler patch. Because I know I understand Boot Hill, Cowboy, 100%, everybody loves him. But like, I want you to be very honest with me. Do you feel the same way for Robin in Boot Hill? As you did for Acheron, because when Acheron's drip came out, the amount of leaks, the amount of comments, the amount of everything that came out for Acheron, everybody was hyped. And I don't think there's any person right now who has not either spent or gotten Acheron because everybody, everybody wants Acheron. She just brings a lot of utility. Now, can the same can the same be said about uh, Robin? And this actually now pertains to the fact that. Hoyaverse might not actually be power creeping every single character because you know there's there's been the whole issue of like this, the, the next character is going to power creep the previous character like for example now like Sparkle does she power creep Bronya um, does she power creep uh, Ruin Mei and I don't think so because Ruin Mei just brings a whole new different kit to the game which enables a whole new factor to, to be played with the game in terms of weakness break efficiency and all and also all type uh, resistance penetration so these with robin there's a lot of there's, there's a lot to discuss because i personally don't even think i'll be getting her i'll be honest with you um not because i don't like her kit just because she's not bringing anything that's very new like look at it this way Ruin May came out. She brought she brought in again the whole weakness break efficiency thing, and then you have now uh, let's say Sparkle. Sparkle came out. She brought in skill points. Good, right? Okay. What does Robin actually bring in? Apart from the fact that when she ults, she basically advances forward every single person in the team in one go, and then obviously she's unplayable for the the majority of now like her ultimate stance or whatever. 
tell me realistically what she actually brings that's new to the game like what what benefit would she add to your account as opposed to a ruin me that's what i'm thinking same for boot hill if you have an agenti or a clara if you have a very well built clara i can very test i can very well testify to the fact that a free to play clara can can emo, can do moc 12 easy easy uh, she she I, I wouldn't suggest her being the main dps but i would 100 percent say in fact if you have a ruin min and clara and then you have another an, another um another dps 100 percent clara can be your major sub dps and she deals damage with the counter so i'd say like if uh, ruin I, I don't think robin is gonna be on my list of priorities to be honest for the next two months because obviously now we have the three months actually now that we think about it I don't think I don't think Robin Robin's gonna be on my next uh, uh, list of characters to get. Uh, so if anyone's ever thinking of of me uh, uh, summoning for the character, I, I do not think I will be summoning for the character. Uh, it's just I, I don't see I don't see her I don't see her utility, unfortunately. <laughs> but with that said, I hope you guys have a good day. Uh, that this is just my thoughts about Robin. Robin, I hope you obviously can comment and see your thoughts. But with that said, I hope you have a good night, a good day, and good evening.